Uh, Sayun, we've heard from Coach regarding morale, attitude, uh, given the developments of Saturday night. How would you see it from a players and the captains? Um, and the, the loss last week was tough, obviously, and we were a little down after the game, but we all know that we were in that game the whole time. I mean, we, we just we let it go at the end, but coming back this week, Monday and or Tuesday and Wednesday's practice, we've had really high intensity, and I think morale is pretty high. We all know what we got to do. Our goals are still attainable, and we're going to do whatever we can to do to beat Delaware. Hey, Brandon, speaking of goals, uh, at your last stop, your bowl eligibility was always a goal. Um, it doesn't work here. Mm -hmm. Your path to where you want to go is a little tighter, maybe. Uh, how would you view where the Spiders are now and where they want to go? Um, yeah, like you said, the goals are different, but uh, in terms of just being on the same page with these guys, I think we're on the same page. I mean, we definitely we want to compete for a conference championship and, and, and get one of those rings as well as, you know, going into playoffs, making a run towards a national championship. I mean, I think that's everyone's goal, and that's definitely our goal. It's been our goal and one of our many goals from the start of the uh, the season, and it still remains one of our uh, goals today. So, If you guys, each of you could go back and ch when you look at the, the tape from Saturday, you change one thing to change the outcome of the game. What did happen? What went wrong in those last three or four minutes that caused the outcome to be the opposite of what everybody thought it was going to be? Uh. I think one of the biggest things, you know, in, in the couple of losses we've had this season, you know, going into meetings, it's been, you know, there's never one play that loses a game. You know, it's never, you know, whether it be, you know, dro dropping, you know, one of the many interceptions we should have had or missing tackles or dropping passes. You know, it's never one thing that loses a game, but rather a collection of those things. And that's just been the thing all season. You know, we have to limit those plays that, you know, the plays where we beat ourselves, we have to limit those. And I think when you look at the film, there was just so many opportunities to make plays, so many opportunities to get off the field defensively, so many opportunities offensively to do our thing. And um, just as a team, we just really didn't get it done. So I don't think you can really look at one specific play, but just as the whole you know performance in, in general. Yeah, I agree. To, I mean, to add on to that offensively, I just think our, our detail a little bit lacked towards the end of the game. And I mm -hmm. think that that was something that we've been focusing on these past two days. And I mean, what Brandon said, there's not one play that is going to win or lose this game, but the collection of plays throughout the game. So I think offensively, our details right on track. We, no one can stop us but ourselves. So is there a Rocco factor at work this week in terms of motivation uh, or any other way? I don't think so. I mean, I, I, we're more focused on just beating Delaware. I don't think it matters who's coaching. I mean, most of the players on the team now weren't even around for Rocco. So we just want to beat Delaware. We don't really care who's coaching them. Brandon, could you say a word or two about Kehoe, um, a guy who you've dealt with in practice, I guess? Uh, yeah. And what kind of quarterback is he? And will that be kind of weird playing against the guy you played with? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, it'll be fun, that matchup, playing up against uh, Pat again and, and MJ, uh, his one of his triplet siblings. But, um, yeah, it's just going to be fun. It's going to be a fun opportunity to not only just play and try to win a football game, but, you know, play against, you know, a guy we've, you know, we have a close bond with, Sam and I. So definitely going to uh, have to get to see him before and after the game. Yeah. I'm guessing you never got to hit him in practice. No, no. We never got a touch pass. <laughs> He's always blocking for him. So, no but yeah, no. Nah, he had a crown around his head and can't go. He had a little three-yard halo. We used to call no, it. Yeah, Stay no, from within three yards. He, could, he couldn't get near the quarterback at Cheshire. Mm -mm. It's a no-no.